Up next on ATE TV, mapping out your future with GIS. Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, uses computer software and hardware to capture, manage, analyze, and display geographically referenced information on a map, table, or chart. In a GIS class, students organize and map data in a way that can be easily understood and quickly shared. We're out here today with the GIS 102 class, which is applications of GIS to collect information on historical landmarks. Do we have our uh, GPS units all wiring information? We will do Lines that. Running, knows what. We work with community partners that don't necessarily have their own software and things like that, but would want things on a map. Hopefully create a final map of this area, because there isn't a, an official map of this area, and that's print out and uh, give that to the forester. My name is Mike Laboss here, Watupper Reservation Forester and Superintendent. We've always used mapping of discrete forest types and, and ecology using aerial photographs, topographic maps. But today, I'm using information that's coming to me from technicians or from existing data sources. We're going to start plotting the location of exactly. the foundation. So, that we... so these students are using real data and then we'll go back, we'll take the data that they're collecting from the field and put it on GIS maps. See that reddish color? So we have a two-class program. Our first class is Introduction to GIS, where we learn the basics of what GIS can do, what are the different components of a GIS. And then in this class, what we do is we actually collect data and then go back and use it on the computer. It's right the fireplace down there, I can see It's it. a way that people who enjoy being outside can combine computer skills with the outdoors. Which is 1.30. And he said, you want to go in the woods? Yahoo! Because I'm the woods guy. And I says, I'm in. The property acquired. When we get up there, we'll see the foundation that's in the ground. And the place and the property acquired by the, the city to maintain. Information is vital to being efficient with our time and being efficient with the resource. You go to the next corner. We four corners and then we the entrance and after. So we'll have a ready-made map and data set to be able to interpret what's here. Technology becomes a tool that you understand will help you do it more effectively, more efficiently. We're training these students to give them some extra tools that can be used, because GIS is a powerful tool that can be used in almost any discipline. For more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.